Okay, so now we're on the final planet, Prometheus. And it is a volcanic planet, and the gravity is fluctuating due to an anomaly. So this will be an interesting uh, skill-based planet that will allow us to touch on some deeper conceptual physics concepts, um, as well as really have some fun shots with some low gravity. So the first question says, observe the change in potential energy during the ball's flight. So let's pay attention to that while the ball's in flight. And I have my gravity fluctuation detected and it looks like I'm gonna start my shot with half the gravity on Earth, which should make for a very interesting first shot. Okay. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a side wind, so I think I'm gonna try using the iron and let's see if I can actually get to a nice, nice shot preview over here. That, that looks like it'll quite for the bounce and the wind. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a shot, take it. We've got a nice long ball flight and let's pause this real quick. So you can tell that uh, during the ball flight there is a lot of energy that is being lost by hitting the air particles through thermal energy. You can see the amount of kinetic energy we have, and we have to focus on the potential energy while the ball's in flight, because that is what our AI question in the end is gonna do. So, if we notice the total potential energy while the ball is flying, we see that it rises and it's rising right now, and it gets up to 33 joules, and then it starts going back down. So what we know is that when it hit the top peak of its arc, it achieved the maximum amount of potential energy, which makes sense, because the ball has more time and distance to fall to allow the acceleration of gravity to take hold which is then translating into the kinetic energy. So all of this potential energy, this gravitational potential energy is gonna shift into some of it, majority thermal, but a lot of it in, back into kinetic energy. And you'll see kinetic energy is starting to increase as it's falling. And then once it, it hits, it's all deadened and lost to sound and heat upon impact. Okay, so we've got a pretty good slope here. It's actually a changing slope, it looks like. Shifts a little bit, let's see if we can get this. I'm on the other side of a weird slope. Show me potato salad. Yeah. That was in, that was in. Are you kidding me? Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Like it in there. Yeah, there you go. Yay, double bogey. All right, so for our seventh challenge question, the first one on planet three, hole one. When does the golf ball achieve its maximum amount of potential energy? When we already saw this because we used the pause feature, we noticed that when it got to the highest amount of its peak, it achieved the maximum amount of potential energy and it was going down uh, after it reached that and the rest was transferring into kinetic. So let's look for that answer. When the ball is first hit, nope. When it hits the ground, definitely not. At the highest point of its flight path, there we go. That is what we notice. And that is what you want to facilitate your kids to notice. Uh, and again, this is a great time for you to use the pause feature so you can really understand and pause it periodically through its flight.